Hello friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the slightly modified form in Transformers that were released in Japan. Today we're taking a look at the Takara Legends Double Cross. This is their sort of repainted version of Twinferno from Titan's Return. Now, it's pretty much the exact same figure, the only difference is being a tiny little difference in molding on the uh, Titan Master door, which we'll see in uh, in Beast Mode, and the Target Master, and like, of course, the paint job, but like the actual physical differences are just that little bit in the chest and the Target Master. So, as you might expect, we are going to be doing a sort of side-by-side -side comparison, because I still have Twinferno, I held on to him specifically for this, so... We're going to do this. The robot modes, for the most part, are identical, barring the just tone differences with the colors. But, like, there's nothing too terribly new here. Actually, let me get rid of their accessories real quick so we can take a look at them without anything obstructing our view. All right, so as you can see, mold-wise, there's really nothing separating Double Cross from Twin Twinferno. It all comes down to the color and the paint. And honestly, the color and the paint is why I wanted to get Double Cross and sort of replace Twin Inferno here. Because I mean, the Target Master thing is neat, but that wasn't really wasn't really my goal. So as you can see, just at like a cursory glance, Double Cross is darker than Twin Inferno. He's a darker, almost richer shade of gray, I'd say, than Twin Inferno, with like a few very small details that are painted differently. For example. Double Cross's chest has these uh, it's white bits, both with an Autobot logo on them, as well as these bits are painted in like a gunmetal color. And the feet, it's kind of hard to tell, but like there's this little black bit on the uh, top of the foot there. Then, of course, we've got the dragon heads, which we'll look at more in beast mode. But that's pretty much it for the color differences, because you can see with uh, Twinferno, that bit on the foot isn't painted. These bits aren't painted, and he only has one Autobot logo. But, you know, other than that, they're they're more or less identical. Although, okay, I'm just now noticing his uh, added tampographed details on Twinferno's chest. There's very little difference between what has been painted, because you can see, like, both of them have the painted shoulders, both of them have these little bits in the chest that have been painted, the little bits in the crotch plate that have been painted, the kneecaps. Yeah, as far as like overall paint distribution, there are just a few spots in robot mode where Double Cross has been painted a little bit more. But really, there's not too much to set them apart aside from the color, as I keep saying. But I do like the color scheme of Double Cross a little bit better. I like this shade of gray more, and I like how the sections of the feet, how it all kind of works a little bit better together in terms of tone and shading where it makes it look more like a cohesive boot, whereas with Twinferno, it's broken up by these gray bits here. Another thing is the white, and it's something that I didn't even realize until looking at them next to each other, but the white for Twinferno is slightly off, whereas the white for Double Cross is a much, br uh, much brighter, more vibrant, I guess you could say cleaner white. Which again, it's not something I noticed initially, but like seeing them side by side, you can see that like this, the white for Twinferno just looks a little bit, I guess almost yellowish, just when it's next to Double Cross here. And we'll take a look at the Titan Masters on their own in a little bit, but you can also see that uh, Double Cross's glasses are a slightly darker shade of blue. Not any huge differences aside from that color, but that color in its own way, kind of is a huge difference. So in terms of size comparisons, I mean, you know, he is a Titan's Return Deluxe, so he's the size of a Titan's Return Deluxe, although the uh, Twinferno mold was always a little bit shorter in robot mode. But uh, yeah, you can see, you know, standard size. If you have Twinferno, Double Cross is exactly the same height as Twinferno. I was going to say that's it for the robot mode comparisons, but there is one more thing that I almost forgot to point out, which will be more obvious in uh, beast mode, but the chest window cockpit thing for the Titan Master on Double Cross is a pretty much straight up clear plastic, whereas for Twinferno, it's a very dark 
very dark translucent tinted plastic so you can't really see the uh, Titan Master that's when they're in there as much. That also plays a part in my enjoyment of the color scheme here because you know his chest is sort of broken up by this black spot in his midsection whereas Double Cross you don't really get that even though it's clear plastic it's just because it's clear it kind of works into that color scheme on its own. Right so now one last thing looking at the accessories you can see Double Cross has his Target Master. Don't remember the Target Master's name, don't really care, but yeah, it's a pretty effective gun. And as you saw in the beginning, he does hold it as you do. You know, it's the same as uh, Twin Inferno's guns. You just plug it in like you normally would, and he holds it, and it's a thing. And it's fine. I'm, I kind of, like, I prefer the look of the Target Master gun as opposed to the uh, the one that Twinferno comes with, which can split into two. But I kind of like having like a dual wield thing going with Twinferno. Also, these can plug into the shoulders, whereas the Target Master, from what I've been able to tell, can only go into his hands. Like, there doesn't really seem to be any other place in robot mode to plug this in. But... Being a target master, it does turn into a little robot, and the transformation is very simple. You just fold down the legs, extend the arms, and then you rotate this around, which rotates both his lower half and his head. And then all you do is pull this, and you can see that this little bit here on both sides clip into that bit of plastic right by his shoulders. So just unclip that and fold it back, and there you go. You have a little tiny target master man and there you can see how he scales with a titan's return to Lux, i guess and i suppose while we're looking at tiny robot men might as well take a look at the tiny robot men that makes up double cross's noggin so the molding for the titan master for double cross's titan master is the same as twin furnos here you can see like the molding on both is the same you still have the little animal feet, same shins, same torso, same arms, same heads, but they actually painted some of the details for Double Cross's Titan Master. Actually, even the color is the same with the plastics where you got white, gray, black, but then this has that like slightly yellowish white versus the brighter white. But anyway, I am quite impressed with the fact that they painted as much on this little guy as they did, especially that really really tiny eye patch and eye and nose like that is just remarkable that they were able to paint that much i'm a little worried that the yellow for the hair is going to rub out eventually but they very cleverly only painted the front bits and the top there so these uh the part that's not painted is primarily the part that's going to be gripped by the uh neck stump <laughs> so i think that'll be okay as far as like paint rubbing goes i'm impressed that they painted as much on this guy as they did and they actually really like just what little paint they put on the face really does make it stand out whereas this guy i had to like get in close taking pictures and stuff and zooming in to actually really be able to make out those details but him you don't even need to zoom in like i can actually make out the details pretty easily and you can see there that's how big his little Lion pretender dude whose name I forget. Uh, Titan Master scales with all that. So it's an interesting set as far as robot men go. All right, so let me get these out of the way, and I think it is time to take a look at his beast mode. <laughs> And so here we have Double Cross in his beast mode, and this is why I got this figure. This looks really, really great. The darker grays still look great overall, but their extra bits like the white for this buzzsaw really stands out, and especially, especially those heads. I mean, wow. These look, these look great. 
I just, I love how these heads came out. The slightly brighter white looks great, coupled with the darker gray for the lower jaw. The fact that they painted the teeth in the lower jaw for both heads and painted the inside of the mouth for a tongue effect. They even painted the horns like this gunmetal kind of color, and it just, it looks so good. I mean, I like the color scheme on its own, but it just looks so great when it's all taken together. Compare that to Twinferno, and Twinferno almost looks bland by comparison. I mean, the lighter gray is still a nice enough color scheme. The black for the legs and arms still works, but you lose some of that detail, like the buzzsaw doesn't stand out as much at a distance, and it's just the dragon heads. Again, it's like you've got that kind of off-white color for the top, lighter gray for the bottom, and then red eyes. But look at those next to Double Cross's head, and it's just like the white's brighter, the contrast is nicer with the darker gray, the painted teeth, the painted insides of the mouths, blue eyes instead of red, painted horns. Like, it just looks really, really nice. And I, I mean, Twinferno, I don't care what anyone says, Twinferno is still my favorite mold from the Titans Return line. There were a lot of really good figures in that line, but I just, I really, really like Twinferno. He's a really neat alt mode, pretty cool robot mode, and a fun transformation. And Double Cross is the same exact thing with just better paint. And so Double Cross is now my favorite from the line. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just, I'm not disappointed in finally getting my hands on this guy with the better paint scheme. And here as well, you've got that effect going on with the midsection where that really dark plastic stands out more with uh, Twinferno, whereas the clear plastic for Double Cross, it just kind of blends in. Like, it, it doesn't quite disrupt the look of the chest as much because the lighting's being a little weird. Let me swap their positions here real quick. So maybe that'll help kind of show more of what I mean. And now for Twinferno, he has the rifles that can store on his back, which I think is pretty cool. The downside with Double Cross is uh, Double Cross can't do that with his Target Master, at least not as far as I've seen. Because again, with the Target Master, there's like there's this peg, and then these bits back here seem to be more for facilitating the robot mode, like these kind of clip around his midsection in robot mode. So there's really no other way to attach this to him other than using this peg. Also, I forgot to point out, they actually painted some of this detail for the hands and the uh, shins for the Target Master, so that looks good. But anyway, because of the way the mold works, there's no place in the back here to attach this. It just does not work. And like, I thought maybe these tabs could fit in, but like, there's no space to do it. So, other than just sticking it into the side of his face, which would be really silly, what you're supposed to do, according to the directions, is snap this, and this pegs in here. And this is the one molding difference with Double Cross versus Twinferno, is this peg hole right here. So you can see on Twinferno, there's just like a slot that is made to accommodate the buzzsaw when the chest folds down. Whereas with Double Cross, that slot now has a peg hole kind of built into it. So the buzzsaw still fits, but now you've got this peg hole specifically designed for the Target Master to plug in. Plug that in, and the Target Master comes in like just before bumping into that buzzsaw too, which I'm glad because I wouldn't want the paint to rub off like that. But then you do that, and you have a, uh, a chest cannon, which is okay. It's goofier than the back cannon. I mean, it works, but... I just, yeah, <sighs> it's it's fine. I just I wish there were, I do wish there was a better way to store that because that does look a little bit more ridiculous than having uh, dual rifles attached to the back there. And in a weird bit of well, that's how that works. Twinferno and Double Cross both actually gain height by transforming into their beast modes. So it's a little weird, but it's not anything that's specific to Double Cross because Twinferno is the same way. Oh, poor Twinferno. I don't think he could take the news that he's being replaced. Come here, you. There, now we can do kind of a robot mode and beast mode together kind of thing. With the little, with the little Titan Master in the middle. So yeah, 
as I was saying from the beginning, Double Cross is exactly the same as Twinferno with that one little difference in the molding with the uh, peg for the Target Master and obviously the color scheme, like the plastic, the paint, and the fact that it even comes with a Target Master in the first place. But like functionally, Twinferno's the same thing. It's, you know, if, if you only have access to Twinferno, then, you know, Twinferno is a great figure on his own. Still my favorite of the line, but Double Cross just the way that the the details and the colors work together and the way that those heads just pop is fantastic. So I know not everyone's going to be in position to possibly upgrade to the uh, Takara Legends versions of their Titans Return figures, but if you like the Twin Inferno mold or Double Cross, whichever you prefer to call them, then yeah, I, I definitely recommend this because this guy is awesome. He's exactly as awesome as this, plus he has a Target Master and just nicer paint and a nicer color scheme. So pretty. I was worried that the promotional photography would just make it seem prettier than it actually was in real life. But no, this is this is a very, very well done figure in terms of just overall color scheme and everything. And like I said, it's still got the really neat engineering and transformation. Anyway, I think that is going to do it because this has been very wordy and lengthy for just a comparing one to another kind of video. What do you all think? I'm sure, I am sure that I am probably the only person on the planet who thinks that Twinferno is the best figure to come out of Titan's Return, but I imagine I'm not the only one who thinks he was a really good figure. So, you know, what do you all think in terms of just color scheme, paint-wise? Like, do you actually think that Twinferno comes out a little bit ahead in terms of coloring and placement? Because I know this is a bit more accurate to the G1 toy. His accessories store a little bit better. Or are you like me and... Double Cross's paint scheme is enough to have you salivating, because, I mean, it just looks so good. Or do you hate this mold in general? I mean, <laughs> you know, if that's how you feel, then feel free to share that as well. I'm, uh, I'm interested to know what you all think about this. Anyway, that has been my look at Takara Legends Double Cross. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art... Art, revamped art, is more than meets the eye.